Clyde here live from Leechburg Lights, the workshop. We've got ourselves the brand new uh, test version of the Falcon V2 right here today. This thing is absolutely amazing. It works wonderfully. Uh, I have had the chance to play with it for a few months and today it finally got installed into this Hoffman enclosure. I've had this enclosure for quite some time. The way I've set it up so that I can uh, easily fit the uh, other uh, additional board for the extra 16 outputs, I'll create a, uh, a covering over top of this and probably out of uh, 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 one by uh, one by two or one by four. I'll put it right up over top and make a little you know lifter over top of this and install it. But uh, this has been a, a fun project to work on today to finish up to get things going. And uh, let's take a walk around the board, why don't we? Uh, you'll see that we have two lights on right now that indicates that we are in run mode where we have E131 coming in right now from X Lights Nutcracker. So it's in receive mode. If we want to go into test mode, we just select this push button right here and push and hold. We'll see a change instantly in these indicator lights. The LED will light up on the right here and the, the middle one will turn off. This indicates we're in test mode. Now if I zoom out, you can see our uh, GE color effects are are flashing away there so we're in good shape things are going good now you'll notice that these other pixels aren't going and uh, neither are these pixels now why aren't they going well because the GE color effects are on the middle part of the board output number nine which is this lower one right here the order goes from down on the bottom up we have one two three four five six and all the way across to 15 and 16 but I'm on output number nine with my GECE. So these are running right now in test mode, just a standard basic test mode, just uh, cycling from the colors between one to the next. Now, what I can do is I can go ahead and I can plug in the other power supply, which is, and now you see the other pixels have listed up. This is the other power supply that's running the left hand side of the board so in order for me to do any tests I need to run power you can see from this power supply going down into this right hand side of the board over here right here into this input the other power supply our second power supply is supplying power to the left side here so we have two op uh, two options. If you're not going to run a lot of pixels off of this, which thing this thing is a monster. I mean, you're looking at a ton of pixels just off of one. I mean, sixty uh, what is it? Sixty four uh, uh, universes of pixels can be run off of this. So you figure with the expansion board, that's two universes per output. That's a ton, and uh, having two power supplies is pretty much going to be necessary. So. Um, Anyway, uh, let's, let's go ahead and push and hold the button down, and we'll go back into receive data mode from E131. Now, obviously, I have this here, uh, this here sequence. Now, if you've watched the, the video that I just uploaded, you'll, know that you'll notice and recognize this song. Uh, well, if I don't select an area. And you can see that we've got the output working just perfectly and uh, all of our pixels are working just fine running in Nutcracker so let's stop it there and uh, that's that's all I want to do just a, a quick heads up here's how it works and uh, to say that I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to get to play with this um, I'm going to throw some pictures in of the uh, build, guys, so I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoy it. You know, uh, let me know what you think, and uh, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Take care.